What is going on YouTube? Welcome back everybody. A little bit different of a video for you today. We're doing an unboxing. We've had a mail call and we are going to be testing the most powerful light that Mars Hydro has ever made to date and it looks absolutely phenomenal. From what I've seen on it, I've looked up some reviews already and this is one hyper powerful light little bit different of a driver it's elongated personally I'm not gonna put that on the light whatsoever I always put that outside of my tent that's the mounts for the driver if you want to attach it to the light I'm not gonna be using those so let's throw those to the side hanging cable and that's also the cable to attach multiple lights at the same time in the same package. That's all the pieces to assemble the light. There's the octopus cables. And you got to remember when you're attaching those, you do have to do a bit of a twist. Make sure they're locked in. But what else do we got going on inside of here? We have the edge pieces looking pretty slick. They keep getting better and better from Mars Hydro every single update with these pieces that they make. Honestly, they must update their lights like two, three times a year. So this is the FC8000 and the FC6500 was a different layout for the light. It came fully assembled and it was a foldable style of a light. Now, this is a little bit better in my mind because you can adjust the bars to whatever position that you want. But to be quite honest, the markings that Mars Hydro does have on the side of the bars is the best positioning for the light. As you'll see, they really compacted the LEDs at the very end of the light to make sure they're getting the even distribution usually the light will fade away towards the corners but not on this light they seem to have that covered these bars are looking pretty well laid out in my mind in comparison to the light that was last laid out in this type of style that i assembled the fce 6500 i gotta say this they completely changed around and made way more simple compared to that light i remember that one was a little bit more thought provoking you had to uh, actually use the end pieces as the holder and it didn't actually come with all the little brass circles and this one comes with all those brass circles and it just has these little plastic end caps so way better of a layout in my mind always improving good on them I don't really have much to show you because it's so simple to put together this time around really self-explanatory and the instruction booklet, you don't really need it whatsoever. But it's there in case you do. Okay, so now that this light has been completely assembled, only thing left to do is attach my four hangers and raise this light right up. Put these in whatever positioning point that you desire and go for it. Now, usually this light is done with a metal wire, but I'm using four ratchets instead. All right, now that it's all turned on, looking real beastly, eight huge bars. I might as well mention what type of LEDs that this actually uses. And of course it has the Samsung LM301Bs with the deep 660 red Osram diodes to give it that kick and really help that grow out and flower. Anyway, let's go do the par test. All right, we're back. We're about to do this part test. And all I have to say is I have been using this light for a little bit. There is a bit of a gap between the unboxing and then the part test. And this light is legit nuclear powered. It is so strong. And if you don't have any CO2 supplement, you're probably only going to need it at 75% at 12 inches at the most. Or you could do 100% at 24 inches. 
the first reading right here is at 24 and that's at 100% power you still get a thousand in the middle over a thousand par it's absolutely insane we are doing this one at 12 inches and like I said if you don't have any supplemental CO2 being pumped into your tent your plant will not be able to handle these numbers unless you got a really durable strain some OG strains might be able to do it but for the most part you'll need supplemental CO2 at 12 inches from the canopy with this light it is like I said damn near nuclear powered this is going to be the eight inch test to be quite honest you really don't ever want to be hanging your light eight inches away from your plants even with the supplemental co2 all you really need with this light is 12 inches away but because i tested the fce 6500 at eight inches i'm also going to be doing it with this light and it is just absolutely insane the numbers you get with this light topping out at over 1600 in the very middle completely off the charts you don't need that this is going to be good for residential and commercial lighting all the way through I'm going to be wrapping this video up right about now please go down there smash that like button we'll be back with another regular episode with an update with that huge plant probably about Thursday or so that video will be coming out if you want a little bit of a discount, you can use my discount code 2x2Grower. It should work for all the products on the Mars Hydro website. Take her easy, everybody. I'll see you next time.